Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Something that can help keep you focused as a prepper is if you look over the news that's coming from government. Let's look at North Korea. North Korea is doing weapons tests of missiles at an alarmingly increasing rate. North Koreans consider their country's nuclear weapons a matter of national pride, a symbol of dignity, independence, and empowerment. The government tells its people that the U.S. wants to invade North Korea and that nuclear weapons will protect them from the evil imperialist Americans and their lackeys in South Korea and Japan. We need to keep our finger on the pulse of what's going on in other countries and how that affects our world. North Korea likes to compare itself to a porcupine bristling with needles, deterring the American tiger. That's how it justifies spending resources on developing and testing weapons. You can go hungry, but you can't give up your pride is a common theme in North Korean propaganda. We need to understand how other countries view themselves, how their thought processes work, and how we can use that as preppers. We need to understand how to deal with a variety of different lifestyle choices. Then just the other day, Biden's Armageddon talk edges beyond the bounds of U.S. intelligence. President Joe Biden warned the world is at the risk of nuclear Armageddon. Now, even if they're saying this is true or it's not true, there's always an element of truth in everything that the government is telling you. Here's the highlight of the news for me. President caught on hot mic, no one Fs with a Biden. President Joe Biden dropped an F-bomb during a conversation with Ray Murphy, the mayor of Fort Myers Beach. No one Fs with a Biden, he told the mayor following a press conference to discuss recovery efforts in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Well, <laughs> the funniest thing I found was the Washington Free Beacon did a fact check. Is it true? No one Fs with a Biden? Well, the verdict is blatantly false. The Washington Free Beacon investigation found at least nine occasions on which an individual or inanimate object effed with a member of the Biden family and got away with it, which I realize that that is funny. It helps us keep it into perspective. We cannot rely on the government to care anything about us, our safety, and our happiness. You are in charge of yourself. So what you need to do as preppers is to make sure that you are prepping to the best of your ability. You need to have water. You need to have food. You need to have canned food, dried food, long-term food, and don't forget things like soap and hygiene supplies. Get a variety of long-term foods and even small bags of rice, beans, peas, lentils, barley, things that you can have on hand that can have a lot of nutrition and food for that you can store to last nearly forever. Look for already prepared kinds of foods, already prepared dried foods that'll last the longest time. You can find them from places like the LDS or the Mormon Church. You can find them at August and Farms and there are other brands. Get a wide variety so that you have choices. Your primary responsibility should be to fill your pantry with shelf-stable foods that you can open and eat. You can make meals for your family. You have some put-together grab-and-go foods that you can put in your bug-out bag, foods that don't require any cooking at all. And then the foods that can last the longest. Get a variety, but most importantly, remember to get the things you count on having. Prepping is lifestyle insurance so you can maintain the life you have. Continue every day to have the best possible life. Don't forget your small children and your pets. They rely on you. Think about the upcoming winter and what will you need to stay warm. If the power goes out, how are you going to provide some light if the power goes out? What are you going to do to just deal with a winter storm? The more you can figure out what are the risks where you live, the more likely you are to be able to face it, cope with it, and figure out what to do next. And that will make every day the best it can be. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.